Thank you for joining me for Another Cup, treating every day like a holiday. One of the things that always struck me is that many times in business, we think about the short term, but personally, we think about the long term. And there should be a balance in each area to both the long and the short term. In fact, I did a Monday message recently called The Long and the Short of It that talks about this balance between long-term and short-term thinking. And I think that what we run into is we get looped into this automatic autopilot thinking that a week is seven days, that a month is 30 days. And we think that far. Why? Because we're measured that way, aren't we? We're measured on the production of our day or our task list and what we complete during a week or maybe a month or maybe a quarterly or annual bonus. But the truth is those are your employer or society's way of thinking. Maybe you're really good at thinking out about 10 days or maybe two to three days at a time gives you enough perspective to be able to think through things with a little more long-term mindset. And I think what I run into, and maybe you do too, is that the shorter term I think, the more I think over the same thing time after time after time. And I need to break that up once in a while with some longer term thinking. Then there's also the perspective and the attitude and the things that you focus on on the long term versus the short term. For example, there may be really great short term benefit to procrastination. What do they say? Goal setting and hard work pays off in the long run, but procrastination pays off right now. (laughs) So, Avoiding short-term pain or effort may give you immediate benefit, but what's the impact if you're thinking more long-term? In fact, that's where the talk about habits and not operating on autopilot, or at least the negative autopilot, comes into play. Because if we really sat down and said, hey, I've got this New Year's resolution. Are you thinking about how to implement that right now? Or are you thinking about, is this something I want to sustain until June or November? And how would I do that? That completely changes the thinking. It changes how practically we look at what we're doing right now. I feel like this long-term thinking, while having short-term urgency, is one of those keys that we can continually get really good at. If you habitually are able to bring the long-term goals and ultimate destinations into your short-term thinking and your plans, well, that is the recipe for success. Because we can get very busy each week on the urgent and what appears to be important But unless we can link it to a longer term plan, then we're going to really get into each week or even each day just being more of the same over and over and over again. When in reality, we are growing, we are learning, but we need to realize it. Sometimes not celebrating the short wins, the the quick wins, makes us think, well, you know what? Nothing good is happening. But the truth is, there's always something good happening, whether we see it or we don't. And sometimes that's where that short-term focus comes into play. Look, I'll take a win today and build on it versus how far I am short of my ultimate goal. So you see there's a balance. That balance is key. Now, some of us are oriented more to the short-term. Get things done today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. And others of us have a big picture view and can see the larger things at play. So ask yourself, 
where do you naturally put your focus? And is that by design or is that just how you've been conditioned? Where does your mind go when I ask you to make a list of what you want to accomplish this week and this year? Which one's easier for you to come up with? If you say the year, then consciously work hard to bring a short-term focus based on those long-term goals and really focus on doing that more and more. If instead you say, oh, I know what I want to get done this week, I'm not going to worry about a month from now. Take a little time and think through what a week like that multiplied by five, where does that place you? And what's the impact of the things you're doing right now? So understand that when I talk about making every day a holiday, what I'm really talking about is that holidays are one-time instances, special occasions. And we look at those down the road, or sometimes they sneak up on us, don't they? But in truth, if we plan long-term, those holidays can be more than just those one-time occurrences. You can create your own holidays anytime you want. Enjoy it, plan it, don't let it take you off track. That's the lesson I'm pulling, and I hope you can, from this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me for another cup, treating every day like a holiday.